Good evening. Good evening, indeed. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and children. I see a lot of children here. It's wonderful to see your lovely faces. My name is Godfrey Pillai, and I'm the Senior Manager of Artistic Programming here at Lincoln Center. And on behalf of Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts, I welcome all of you to the David Rubenstein Atrium. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's a live audience, a community. And just uh, for the record, we are live streaming tonight's performance, so a very warm welcome to all those joining us remotely. So as a public venue and performance space for more than a decade, the atrium is community focused and dedicated to presenting live performing arts all year round. All, is, all are welcome and it's open to all and always free of charge. As part of our mission, the diverse programming on this atrium stage keenly reflects the diversity of this wonderful city. It is our hope that you see yourself represented here at Lincoln Center. So tonight, I am pleased and privileged to present this masterful ensemble. Please give a warm welcome to Sandeep Das and the Hum Festival, Hum Ensemble. <laughs> Presenting Delhi to Istanbul.
Turn your cell phones off because they they sound better than me. <laughs> so, thank you. I'll start again. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting live music and still alive musicians. <laughs> the instrument I play, for those of you who are hearing it for the first time, is called the tabla. It's an incredible instrument that you learn orally. Everything I say has a corresponding hit. And in all our traditions, you go and live with a guru. Guru is a teacher. Gu means darkness. Ru is light. 
So anyone who takes you away from darkness is your guru. I lived with my guru for 12 years and everything was taught to me orally. And if you learn it well, whatever I say can be said by the stabla. So if I say, dhatrakka dhikita dha. If I say, dhatrakka dhikita dha, dhita 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 dha. If you practice, but the one sound that I have the most practice is the one that my wife uses on me, which is na na na. I can say that safely because she's far away in Boston <laughs> and I disconnected the Wi-Fi, the internet connection, so she can't see me live. <laughs> but I'll play, what I played before was improvised, but I'll also play something, you know, when we talk about Indian music or Turkish music or, you know, cl classical music from our part of the world, it's very common to pe for people to say it's improvised. Yes, it's improvised, but we also have repertoire that's just mind-blowing. Even just for my tiny two little drums, I have thousands and thousands and thousands of compositions that were written just for this drum. I'll play one such composition which, with which I claim that I'm the best rapper in town. <laughs> so here goes. And I'll break it up. So when I say da gina gatakita gina gataka dikita kata gadigana nagina nagina takita gina gataka dikita kata gadigana Ta <laughs> Before we go on to the next piece, I'm very happy and thankful to all the mothers, all the parents that have brought kids. They are our future. They should be allowed into concert halls. Unless you bring them, they will never learn to sit quiet in a concert hall and a concert situation. And that's how you grow into your music. That's how I remember my first memories is going to concert hall. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes.
Yeah, awesome. Awesome. That was our piece called Delhi to Istanbul, a tune that Tamer introduced to us yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, as you see, there are no music stands. Uh, there's no sheet music. We met yesterday for the first time in this composition, in, in this combination once, shared ideas. It's more like bringing colors from your heart and keeping the canvas clean. It's like, hey, I have some colors. Let me sprinkle it. And then you join in and you start painting. You don't even know what the outcome will be, but then it suddenly starts taking shape. And you will you'll like, say, oh, that, that wasn't expected. So even if we play this piece 10,000 more times, each time will be different. So the ingredients will remain the same, the colors will remain the same, but how we paint it ultimately will be different every night. So when he introduced this tune, all, of, all the three of us started singing a song, an old song from India, a Bollywood song that was like very close to us when we were growing up. Chingari, what is the, what is the line? Chingari koi barke Our two worlds together, and there's Delhi to Istanbul for you, right? I consider myself very, very, very lucky that, you know, my first ever concert here in the U.S. was 1990. I actually played, it's like homecoming for me every time I come to New York, because my first ever concert, 1990, was Symphony Space New York. <laughs> And thereafter, I kept coming back uh, again and again. And you know, I consider myself lucky because with every trip, I met and made newer and more amazing girl. If there is a word called amazing girl, maybe not add it in your dictionary. People, musicians, that I just kept falling in love more and more and more and you know, kept wanting to come back and working. Something similar happened not many months back. This is this gentleman's, I think, second ever concert with us. But I consider him the prince of flute. And I have lived in India. I established my career in India. I played with the topmost masters. You know, my debut was with someone called Ravi Shankar when I was 15 years old. <laughs> 15 years, I played with him first. I played with all the masters, including his guru. But I'm very happy that I found in him someone who is as good as any Indian musician living in India. Please welcome Jay Gandhi on the flute. Thank you. And of course, he's from New York, so he has home ground benefit, okay? <laughs> but I would love for him to play a solo so that, you know, I, I planned this evening in a way that you also get to hear all of us individual voices. So here's Jay on the flute for us. Thank you so much. You want to introduce the rag or something? Yes, I'll be playing uh, <laughs> Maybe. Rag Anandi, Nand, or it has multiple names, Nand, Anandi. It means peace, joy. So yeah, it has a lot of different sentiments, but playful and also joyful Rag Anandi. In Tintal, 16 bits.
Those of you who know India and those of you who don't know India, <laughs> it's incredible India. <laughs> incredible in all the right senses and also in the not so right senses. <laughs> and that's why we live, love that country. But one of the right senses is we have, of course, we have the most number of people now. I think we have bad China. But we also, I think, have the most number of holidays. Out of 365 days, every Indian will vouch here, we have 370 holidays. <laughs> so every day has three holidays, one, but some are very, very, very important, very popular. And the incredibleness is that if you land in India during Christmas, you think 
It's a Christian country. Yeah. You land in India during Eid or Bakrid, you think it's a Muslim country. We have grown up celebrating festivals. I'm telling you, I wouldn't care if it was Christmas or Eid or Holi or Diwali. As kids, all we would care is whose mom makes the best kebabs. <laughs> That's the beauty of India, that we would make a list. Oh, you know, let's raid that home first. Afternoon lunch here, dinner there. That's all. I only found that out that, oh, as a Hindu, I shouldn't be celebrating Christmas after I moved to Boston. <laughs> Someone asked me, saying, oh, you celebrate Christmas? In 47 years, that thought had not even crossed my head. So that's the beauty of that country, that every festival is celebrated by everyone. One such festival happened, basic, like literally a few days back. It's called Holi. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares who you are, where you are from. If you are out there, you will, you will get a liberal dose of color on you. And once you have color, the animal inside comes out. And you are like, oh, really? And you go crazy. So every, I remember every year as I became older, I would be like, this is it. I'm never playing holy ever again. But then somebody will drag you into, into it. To, to so tell, celebrate holy with all of you, we have a very special composition called Rangi Sari. It's about color me, col not only my sari, but color me with your love. Loosely translated. So Rangi Sari, Gulabi. For all of you to celebrate holy, may all of your lives be filled with the colors of joy, happiness, and good health always.
बाली अभी पाली अभी पाली है हमारी उमरिया रे कहे मारे कहे मारे कहे मारे नजरिया सब As I said, that, you know, I consider myself one of the luckiest, luckiest, luckiest people, person on this planet. About 21 years back, I met who I call the greatest human being in my life. And that person also happens to play a musical instrument. His name is Yo-Yo Ma. Till I met him, I was a musician. I would come, play concerts, and leave. 21 years of playing with him, traveling with him, has changed me as a human being. And now I feel I want to be a human being first, a musician second, and a tabla player last. <laughs> and it's completely thanks to that, that greatest human being that when the world was faced with you know, the crisis in the Middle East, the ISIS thing happened. I was constantly talking to him. And I just felt that just playing concerts, just playing music was not enough. And I said, Yo-Yo, we can't be sitting home and being upset about something. And he said, let's make more music. And that's when this thought came into my mind. It's like, right, I will do what I can do. And I started the project called Transcending Borders One Note at a Time. My first project was Delhi to Damascus. This is Delhi to Istanbul. I have, I have made it a mission. That of course, I also need to go out and play just music to make some money, right? <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, probably my wife is not letting to, you know, going to let me in. But majority of my work has to have a reason, even if I'm composing music. So Delhi to Istanbul is here. It's, my hope is by bringing people from the worlds that I have met, the message does go get across that the biggest and the only thing is love. And that's what should count. So thanks to the Lincoln Center and thanks to other organizations, I have Delhi to Istanbul here, and I have some great news. I'm working on my next project, and the world premier, premier is at Dartmouth University. That will be, that's Delhi to Kabul. I bumped into this woman who was the last person alive with her son to make it alive before the bomb blast at the Kabul airport in Boston. And immediately my heart was like, what can I do to contribute? And thankfully I'm being supported by Dartmouth and we have a world premiere coming up in two weeks time. And hopefully I'll bring it to your town too. And before you go, there are albums, CDs, and some download codes. I know none of us have, have CD players anymore. <laughs> but believe me, that album did very well. I released it during the pandemic. It was number five in Billboard, every list in the world, which came as a surprise because it, it meant that good work speaks. Why I have it here? 
for all my last 10 concerts, every single penny raised by selling my albums has been donated. Donated to some good cause, and the latest being the earthquake in Syria and in Turkey. Please pick one up, you know, maybe as a gift for Christmas to someone that you love or maybe don't love. It can also be nice Christmas hangings for the tree. There are download codes, pick something up, everything will go and help someone out there. So that's my request. And a person that I met by accident seven years back, played with him for the first time and fell in love. And I felt, man, I need to do something to be on stage and play and have fun with him more and more. Finally, Delhi to Istanbul is happening. I call him easily the Sultan, the Badshah of Kanun. Please welcome Tamer Pinarbashi.
love you, man. I love you. I love you. So. Craftsman, solo, chota chota. Small solo is for craftsman. Rajiv, chota solo. Cross, craftsman.
once very not far from here, another venue that starts with the letter C. I had just finished a big concert and I walked out of the artist entrance and there were 20,000 people waiting to meet, not me. <laughs> they were there to meet the other artist, but there were two women that were also there to meet me. So I was very happy, I was like, yes, finally, you know, leaving Carnegie Hall, somebody also wants to talk to me. These two women came up and said, fantastic concert, it was so good, you, had, you were having so much fun, but why were you constantly saying, shut up, shut up to Yo-Yo Ma? And I'm like, no, there is no way I, I was saying shut up to Yo-Yo. And those two ladies were like, no, no, we were right in the front, front row, and you were constantly saying, shut up, shut up. So they kept saying that and I kept saying no. My car came, I jumped into the car. Two seconds into that, I was cracking up, rolling on, uh, in, inside the car because what they were hearing as shut up was shabash. Shabash in our language is bravo. <laughs> so in case you're wondering why I'm constantly saying shut up to these guys, it's not shut up, it's a heartfelt bravo. That's our tradition, both as musicians, you don't wait. You say bravo and so does the audience. But the, the opposite also happens when the audience doesn't like, they also say the other words. So feel free to applaud, feel free to, you know. <laughs> and you can say shabash. Say it with me, shabash. Yes, shabash to all of you. Thanks for taking time out, leaving those te television channels and you know, TikToks and WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp and whatever else and coming here and supporting live music. Now, you know, I have a very special rhythm cycle that I chose to play for all of you. It's called Dhamar. You know, with, as traditions are changing, a lot of ragas and thals are no longer played. This was a thal that's considered the thal for Lord Shiva, you know, in, in our Hindu philosophy, he danced and while he was destroying, he was creating the universe. And this tal is supposed to be the tal that he was dancing on. And two musicians that were considered to be the kings of this tal, one was the famous Pandit Ravi Shankar and the other one was my guru Pandit Kishan Maharaj. If they were together, there was no way the audience would let them go without playing this tal. The uniqueness is every rhythm cycle opens, you know, the downbeat is an open sound. But this is the only rhythm cycle where the downbeat is actually a muted sound. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one. So, every time you hear this, that's the one. It's Dhamar. And to my left is another young musician that I found after having moved to the US. I was like, now I live here, where do I get good quality musicians? Because I was used to a certain level living in India and a friend of mine said, hey, there is this guy in Los Angeles who came here to study engineering, but guess what he ended up playing? <laughs> Satar. I said, oh, can you, can you ask him to forward me something? And he forwarded me a link from, on YouTube. Believe me, four days, days later, he was playing with me a concert in Boston. So all these solos, <laughs> all these solos that you heard, none was rehearsed. We were actually playing it in this version, in this version, and now in this version, the very first time. Whatever happens, happens now, good or bad. So wish us luck and I will quickly tune. Give me. So please welcome Rajiv Karmakar on the sitar.
Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. With that, we come to the end of the concert. But before we reach there, please give another round of applause to the young prince of the flute, Jay Gandhi. Thank you. I call him the Badshah, the Sultan of Kanun, Tamer Pinarbashi. And another young prince on the sitar, Rajiv Karmakar. Thanks to the Lincoln Center. Thanks to my dear, dear friends here, without whose support we wouldn't be here. So Meng Tong Guan, Godfrey, please give a big round of applause to Spencer on the sound. Philips on the light for making us look nice, otherwise we are ugly people. So thank you for these amazing lights. Liam, Shivangi, Victoria, and Ades. Without you, this wouldn't happen. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And last but not the least, please applaud yourselves. So yes, without you, we wouldn't exist. So thank you so much. Don't, don't forget the CDs, the download codes. It will go somewhere meaningful. Thank you. The last piece is a piece that we chose a very, very favorite song of the famous Mahatma Gandhi. A prayer song that almost became a theme song during India's struggle for independence. Without going into the details of the lyrics, basically the prayer is, God, give us common sense. <laughs> ah, right? I think we still need lots of common sense. So the prayer is, God, give us common sense. And then we have a concept in Indian classical music where we say we don't know what happens next. So let's see where we go from that song. So thank you very much. Love you all. Let's go out and spread love. The world needs it. Yes.
<laughs> Love you, man. <laughs> Let's take a bow. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take a bow. Bow like a boy. One more. One more. One more. Together. One more. One, two, three. Go. Let's go.